All right, question number five says, um, a school nurse records the height, um, age in centimeters of each of 150 students in class A who <coughs> was vaccinated. The table below shows the information. All right, next we're asked to A, complete the table below um, and use the information to calculate an estimate of the mean height of the students. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. All right, um, the first thing, so let's complete the diagram. Sorry, complete the table. To complete the table, we need the, um, the midpoint for the class. H is less than or equal to 140, but greater than 120. Now, um, midpoints normally go up by what, a fixed amount. So we can see here that the midpoint is going up by 20. If it's going up by 20, after 110, the midpoint is going to be 130. Now, Fx is actually the frequency times the midpoint. So the frequency is um, 67. The midpoint is um, 130. So it's 130 times 67. Fx is 8,710. Now we're asked to use this information to um, calculate an estimate of the mean. Now the mean symbol X bar is equal to the sum of Fx divide by N. So we need the sum of fx. So let's find the sum of fx. All right, so we're gonna add up everything to the right. Now when we add up everything to the right, the sum of fx comes to 18,320. All right, um, we already know that um, N, the number of students was 150, um, or if you want, N is equal to the sum of the frequency. And this was given, we we're told that it was 150 students. So the estimate of the mean is um, 18,320 divided by 150. The mean X bar is equal to 122.13. So it's 122.1, sorry, we're asked to write the answer to one less one, please, 0.1 centimeters. So an estimate of the mean is 121.1 centimeters. Moving on. Now we're told that um, in class B, the mean height of the students is, um, in class B, the mean height of the students is um, 123.5 meters, centimeters, and the standard deviation is 29.87. So this is a different class, class B. The information we have was for class A. For class A, the standard deviation is, um, is um, 21.38. Um, using the information provided and your response in A, um, comment on the distribution of the height of the students in both class A and class B. Now, um, the standard deviation is actually the average, <clears throat> the average deviation from the mean. <clears throat> standard deviation is actually the average, <clears throat> the average deviation from the mean. So this is what I would probably write if I'm gonna comment on it based on the information given. I would say in class A, The 
average range of height? The average. Range of height is um, class A is the one that we just calculate 122.1 plus or minus the standard deviation for class A, which is what 21.38 centimeters. All right. So what this is saying is that, what this is saying on average, um, um, in class A, the tallest person should be somewhere around from what? 122.1 plus 21.38. So the tallest person is roughly 143 centimeters or 143.5. So now, I must, Comment on um, class B. Sorry. And in class B, the average height. is or the average range of height the average range of height or height range is um is um 123.5 plus or minus 29.87. Um, All right, so that's centimeter. So in a sense, um, on average, the persons in um, class B were taller than the persons in class A. On average, um, the persons in class B um, were um, the, or the tallest person in class B is taller than the tallest person in class what A. That's roughly um, what it is saying, all right? It's only one mark, so I think that this would be enough. All right, so the C part of question number five says, complete the cumulative frequency curve below. Um, complete the cumulative frequency table below and use the information to construct the cumulative frequency curve on the grid provided on page 19. Now, um, so let's um, complete the table. Now, cumulative frequency means you're adding the frequency as you're going down. So for this level or for this class, it is um, um, 24 plus 35. So the cumulative frequency here is 59. And here it is 126 plus um, 20. So the cumulative frequency here is 146. So the cumulative frequency is sort of a running total. It's sort of like a running, running total of the frequency. Um, you get cumulative frequency by adding the frequency as you go down. Now, um, we're going to use this information now to plot our cumulative frequency curve. Now, for cumulative frequency, um, you're going to use the what? The upper class boundary, the upper class boundary, and the cumulative frequency. So the next, um, so I think two of the points are missing. The two points which are missing, going back up, um, the point from here would be missing. So it's 120, which corresponds to um, the upper class boundary of 120, corresponds to a cumulative frequency of 59. So this is one point that is missing. 
and the upper class boundary of 160 corresponds to a cumulative frequency of 146. So we just need to put in these two points and then um, draw the cumulative frequency curve. All right, so the first point is um, 120, 59. 120, 59 would be about here. And the next um, point is one, um, 160, 146. 160, 160, 146, 142, 46, that will put me about here. So the next thing I'll have to do now is to draw. All right, so I'm gonna make this small so I can see all the points as I draw. All right, so um, the cumulative frequency curve is, as it said, a curve. And whenever you draw a curve, you're gonna draw um, draw it by freehand. All right, being the perfectionist that I am, I'm not satisfied with that. So I'm gonna do it over. Now, in the, in the interest of time, I'm gonna work with this. It's not perfect, but I'm gonna work with it. So we'll just draw our cumulative frequency curve. Let's see what questions we're gonna use it to answer. It says, use the cumulative frequency curve to find an estimate of the mean height of the group of students. Now, the mean, sorry, of the median height, sorry, not mean, median height of the group of students. Now, the median height would be the height of the student in the middle. There are a total of 150 students. The student, the student in the middle would be student number 75. Let's change the color. Um, student, so let's find 75, or the median is the height of student N over two. So N, which is 150 over two, would be 75. 75 is in the dead middle between 70 and 80. So at 75, I'm gonna draw a horizontal line across. All right, so I draw my horizontal line. Anywhere it hit the curve, I'm gonna draw a vertical line down. All right. So I'm doing that. Let's get it accurately. Yep, that seems to be it. So whatever the valley is down here, this is Q2, which is the median. So this is Q2, which is the median. So if you're reading this, this is 130. So down here, each is, is two. So this looks like it's 125 centimeters, 125 centimeters. So I would say that the median height, Q2 is 125 centimeters. Next, we are asked um, to find the probability that a student chosen at random would be taller than 130. The probability that a student chosen at random would be taller than 130. So let's find 130 on our diagram. 130 on our diagram. I'm gonna find 130 on the diagram and then I'm gonna draw, draw a vertical line. Um, until it reaches the curve. So I draw my vertical line. 
30. All right, it looks as if it meets the line here. All right. And that looks like about what I could say 90, but more accurately, it'd probably be um, 89. So let's work with 89. All right. Eighty nine is good. All right, so um, to answer the question about the probability, so I have eighty nine here. So let's put eighty ninth student. The eighty ninth student is one hundred and thirty centimeters tall. All right, so let's go back and answer the probability question. Um, it says the probability that a student chosen at random is taller than 130 centimeter. So what I just found out is that it is student number 989 that is taller than 130 centimeter. That is 130 centimeters tall. Everybody above him is taller than that. So the number of students taller than 130 centimeters, that would be um, um, 150 minus 89, because remember everybody above him is taller. Um, so that would be what? Looks like 61, but let's be certain. And I am correct, 61. So the probability now of being taller than um, 130 centimeter is actually 61 out of 150, which is 0.5. For one, or I would say approximately 41%. So there's a 41% chance that if you select someone at random, that that person is going to be taller than um, 130 centimeters. All right, let's double check in. Yeah, that is the end of the question.